will be starting today's session so we have learned the components of react native uh, we have already learned them so now today we will start the app also and learn one more part which is very important which is called the react navigation so navigation means navigating from one going from one screen to another and then there are various forms of navigation like in react navigation there, there are mainly three types of navigation the stack navigator the ta tab navigator and the drawer navigator in the stack navigator is to uh, rotate between the screens the tab navigator is there are two types of tab navigators the material top tab navigator and the bottom tab navigation so in the same screen if you want to you have three screen screens like in the app in many apps you can see three uh, icons uh, below so, and you can uh, switch between the screens that's called the tab navigator and the drawer navigator is the uh, sliding navigator which which is in the uh, top left of the screen when you which slides in and then you can uh, switch between the screen so we will be starting with the react navigation and before that a student had a doubt on uh, how to set up the emulator and set up the metro bundler so we i will be covering that in five minutes so let's start with that okay so uh, for uh, setting up the emulator you first first of all you have to uh, install a vs code and android studio this is called this is the android studio with this is a heavy app so uh, al always see that if your pc is compatible with it so i would suggest a 8 gb or 16 gb ram pc uh, the pc with uh, 4 gb ram would lag a lot so you have to see that first now you have to after installing everything and whenever you are installing the android studio you have to install all the packages and uh, tick when the uh, when the, there's an option of they will be asking that add to path so you have to tick so automatically everything gets gets added to the path also if you haven't done that i will show you what all you have to add to the path so, so that your emulator starts working so uh, you have to go here you have to write e and v which will open the environment variables of your uh, of your laptop and then you have to go you have to make another another you have you can like this is you have to make another variable name and variable value you have to give android home and then you have to give the path of the local android sdk so you have to go uh, this is the path you have to give which is given here which is given here and another part you have to give the java home so that also would be uh, in my env wait so uh, i uh, java have a uh, home would be the system variable and this would be the user variable and you have to give the open jdk or sdk i will be, i am using open jdk so i have given that part so you have to give that part uh, of your uh, android sdk of and your jre jre is the J java uh, kit and now you have to install node js for windows so uh, this is very important and this will be useful for every uh, every eclipse or any ide so this is very important and uh, uh, make sure that your node js updated so this uh, and then now if you want to create a emulator or you have, you have to just See this. You have to just go open Android Studio. Then you have to go to configure. Now you have to open the AVD ma manager, which is the Android Virtual Device Manager. And now I have created a and already created my virtual device. You can create a virtual device uh, whichever you want and give take any properties or any and oh, make sure that uh, your size is not very big because the size of my uh, avd is it uh, 17 gb so if you want to, to see my avd just click this and uh, your avd will be launched uh, whereas i have auto launching feature in my area uh, in my vs code you can also launch it like this see my avd is launched this is the last app i was building this is my avd so this is how and you if you want to make a virtual device you can make and make sure you have only one two devices or it will take many much of your mem memory space so hope uh, this is how you create the uh, emulator and now i will show you how to you also had a doubt of metro bundler so you have to just after your react native development setup uh, 
is done here so you first of all go to the react native official documentation and go to setting up development environment and you have to follow all the steps and then at the last you have just have to uh, run npx react native run android and your metro bundler will be started and your app also will be launched so this is how you have to do and if you uh, still you are not able to do there is one doubt session at the end you, you can uh, uh, share your screen and we will work it out so for now uh, we will be starting with react navigation uh, is there uh, any doubt no okay if there are any doubts you can put in the chat or unmute and speak so now we, are, uh, we will be starting with react navigation so first of all you have uh, there are some requirements for react navigation so your react native should uh, version should be greater than 0.63 and since you have you guys are using expo this should be greater than 41 you can check this in your uh, packet.json and everything see everything is present here uh, so and uh, also there is one android build.gradle gradle files also this all should be checked you have to there are two types of Gradle. One is the app, app Gradle and one is the Android Gradle. So you have to check everything is proper. So now, first of all, uh, you have to uh, uh, you have to install native React na navigation. So I will be sending everything you have to install. You have to just run it in the VS Code here terminal. You have to just run it here. Okay. So and press Enter. Now you have to since you are using expo so instead of npm you can use expo and now you have to also install uh, react native screens and react native save area context so you guys uh, you will be using this this too now you will be i will explain this uh, afterwards what it is and if you are using ios you can uh, use this pod install commands so this is it for uh, uh, these are the minimum requirements and you have to install all of them and now we will start with navigation so for navigation uh, we will start with stack navigator so you have to install the uh, stack navigator too and also remember if i am sending off npm you have to use expo if you are using expo instead of npm so now let us start with the i've created a uh, sample project so there is nothing here in the app.js. So now we will write a code and to see how to create a stack navigator, right? So uh, first of all, you have to import the packages which we have uh, installed right now. I've installed all my packages, so I don't already, so I will not be installing it again. I will tell you when to install what. So now we will be importing it. So this is how you import the, first of all, you have to import a navigation container. See, it will be automatically coming here. Now you have to import it, a stack navigator. So this is how you create stack navigator. Huh. So you, it is automatically automatically imported. Now you have to make a constraint called stack navigator. When This is very important. Stack is equal to create stack navigator. So this is how you create a stack navigator and then since it's empty right now and this is how create and now we will be uh, creating two demo screens. So let us create, you can create two screens here also like this screen. Uh, this is how you create screen a.js like this. So this is the screen a.js. So I'm, not, I'm creating both my files in my app.js only. Always remember your main code should be written in the app.js only. So this is how you create a function. So uh, we can take screen A. So and we can give you uh, always remember you have to give a navigation here because we will be using navigation. So uh, use uh, create a curly bracket and give a navigation here when you are creating the function. So now we can give uh, uh, on press handler we did it yesterday so constant on press handler this is, called, this is how you create if you remember so now we can give it 
this is how you give a navigation this is very important navigation dot navigate this is the inbuilt function of react native navigate navigation dot navigate and now give the screen you want to navigate so now we will be creating a screen b later so let us take the screen b for now so this is how you give and now we will give always give a return function to so give a return function so what will be displayed on your screen one so we can create a view style is equal to size dot body and you can create a text field always remember to create a text field inside of you else is equal to style dot text okay, so i'll give an a text field and say let's name it screen a screen a so this is the text should be this would be displayed when you you are using it so now we have given the text and now you have to give a pressable so you can give a pressable right so give a pressable pressable for the uh, button point of view now we can give the on press handler here which we used it so on press is equal to pass the function here on press okay on press handler hmm. on press is equal to on press handler is handler here so okay, i have not closed the view here so press a well on press handler and now you can give a style to it right so give a style right style is equal to and this is important now see this is how you give one curly bracket and then the empty function and then pressed in a uh, javascript so in curly brackets in a uh, round brackets okay so this is how you give and now you have to inherit it so you have to give a function this is how you give a function is equal to an arrow and now you can give any properties or uh, any styling you, you want so back we will give background color background color is to press so this is this would be this is a javascript function if you know uh, if you press it this will be the value and if you don't press it this will be the value so give it ddd color and this will be the value if not press so you can give any color so we will be giving okay here is so color so this is how you close it right and now you can give another text style right so always you use copy pasting code you can you have to avoid writing everything again and again so take it here take it here and now you can give uh, go to screen b because we need to go to screen go to screen b so this is how you give and now you have to close your pressable and view right so right close it pressable and now you have to close your view view so there there are no errors now so now we have created a screen a so now if we want to create a uh, screen b so we will copy the same code it's starting from your ending here right so function the same code here next line and and now instead of screen a we will write screen b screen b and if you want to go to screen a so everything is uh, same here and this would be screen a okay so i guess everything is same and now you have to create your main function right so create a main function so function uh, your main function should be similar to your uh, file's name and the function you are default exporting it default default so function app and now just give a return to it so this is the main navigation so whenever you are giving a stack navigator remember in the return you have to give a 
you have to enclose it with a navigation container which we imported earlier navigation container and everything should be here so close it afterwards we have closed it right and now you have to create the stack navigator so this is how you create a stack navigator so stack dot navigator which we imported earlier and so this will be your screen you can give any screen here so this would be a blank one and now you have to give this would be a just a stack navigator so you have to op close it right so close it like this okay so you have created a stack navigator now you have to create the stack screens so you have to create a stack screen screen and now you have to name the screen this is very important name is equal to okay so we have named it earlier so screen a right and now just close it so you don't need this tag directly you can close it here itself so we have created a stack screen and you have to always import the function here in the component so component is equal to component is equal to screen a because the component this is our component right the function this is the component so always this should be imported here so screen a whenever you hover it see every the function will be seen here so now similarly create the screen b so just copy paste and screen b okay this should not be we took the stack navigator along this this much okay so this is the screen b and now the function of screen b right so this there are no errors right so i guess this is it and now we let's see if it's working so npm npm run android this will take certain time so we will revise it till that so style dot text is not being imported okay so this should be style dot text right see there are some minute errors also this should be style dot text this should be style dot text And this should be ten. Okay, so now there are no errors. Now this. Right. So let's see our emulator. This is the uh, emulator which was launched, and let's see how if our app is built or not. I guess there is a. Okay. Okay. There's one minor error. Now you have. I will try it again. See, this is. You have to always import it here. Okay. See the build. This is the app is working now. I guess there should be no errors now. Ah, see, this is the screen A we have created, uh, and once you click to screen B, this will uh, this went to screen B. See, and whenever you created the screen B, there is a default back uh, back navigator here. So if you click here also, this will be go this will be going to screen A. So now if you want uh, a stack navigator to uh, ignore the this is looking not this is not looking nice right so you have to give the uh, screen options here so if you give a screen options here this is how you give screen options and now you have to so that the header is not looking nice right so give the header header function is equal to is to empty is equal to null so this is how you give a null function and close it okay see see now i guess this would be disappeared and again 
ओके सो लेट्स ट्राई इट हियर टू the stack screen itself so and the component here and here it would be only the option right so screen options ah this is screen options ah see i guess this was the error here screen options it is okay so the uh, the header went in both the screens because you have Uh, imported it in the common stack navigator if you uh, if you just want to remove it in a you have to uh, give uh, options is equal to same instead of screen option so we are done with stack navigation now if you guys have any any doubts so you can ask for the uh stack navigation any doubts if you have you can ask so now after this we will be starting our uh we will be starting the tab navigation right so first of all you have to go to the react navigation and take if you have any doubt you can see us send, send the link in the chat now if you have any doubts you can ask i will be waiting for 2 minutes we have completed stack navigation now we will be starting with top tab navigation everything okay so i guess there are no doubts so okay so we can start now i will show you what all you have to import ha ah, okay my screen share is off over wait yeah your screen share ha ah, one second Hmm. Uh, is my screen visible? Yeah, visible. Uh, so now we have to go to the official documentation and see the app tab nav navigation. the doc official docs now you have to import material tabs bottom tabs right so i will be sharing this to import this install this so this includes both the bottom tab and material top navigation and bottom tab navigation so this is how you you have to just import this package and now we we can start it so i have already imported and created two dummy screens so this is how you import a bottom tab navigator create bottom tab navigator and same you have to import bottom instead of tab you have to import bottom bottom so we have imported top tab and bottom tab navigation so now we will start with our bottom navigation so this is how you import just we just like we created a stack navigator you have to take it create a cream create a bottom tab navigator so bottom tab navigator right see and now first of all we will uh bottom tab navigator we did and now you have to make our function right the function app uh, at the function function app and now we can similarly give the return function so now we will be creating the tab navigation so all every navigation you have to enclose it in the navigation container so navigation container and close it with a navigation container close it right now only so it it is at the end you don't have to do this things so we have to create a navigation container and now we have to create the tab navigator in that there was a stack navigator so now we have to create the tab navigator right so tab navigator close it and now you have to create the tab so in the tab navigator you can create uh, any 
this is the default value so first we will be creating the tabs right so this is the tab screen one tab dot screen just like tab dot screen screen and you can name it name name is equal to screen similarly we did okay i should have used that code only okay it's okay and now we have to import the component so component okay i'm going to close it right and component is equal to screen a right because the function was screen a so see screen a is imported as a js jsx element so tab screen you have to you can close it here itself So one 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 of our tab screens is created. So you can give any properties or anything attribute. So we can give the bar style here. So let's give the bar style as. Ah, uh, so you have to give it in the option, right? So options is equal to. Have any doubt you can ask me. Top bar badge. Two, three. So third one. And now we, are, we can create a similar screen, tab screen called B. So take it here. We don't want here this. And now screen B, right? Screen B and screen B. B no? screen. So this is how we created the tab navigator and closed it, right? so now we can give some properties to our tab navigator first of all let's see if uh ha uh, see two screens are created there's no okay we have to refresh it right so press a r here see two screens are created now we will be giving some properties so that it looks nice C screen and screen B. So now we will be giving some properties to it. So let us give some screen options. We can give screen options so that it looks nice. Screen option equal to a root. And now you can give a Okay, if else condition, we will do it later. And now you can give a top tab navigation option. So I guess I add the code. This would be very long. So let's take the properties for one second. Just a second. So I had the code ready. And time is safe. Now we have to just see what happened here, and now refresh. But then, yeah. See, our top tab for our top tab and our material. Our this is fun, awesome file. So this, so there are some React Native vector icons, and you have to import this before using this. I have not linked them, so that they are not visible here. So, see, there are two tabs here. I don't know why this is not being pressed. I guess there is a com uh, emulator issue here. so this this is how you give a top navigation and you, instead of tab if you want to see bottom navigation so you have to just replace it so control f 
right, uh, find everything everywhere where's their top so instead of top you can take it bottom right so let's comment this out and take a bottom tab and see find where's top so top is here okay that's it we have to make it like this only see it went to bottom right see this is how you created a bottom tab and top tab navigation so there's a one there's one compi compiler issue or i guess so it's not being shown here or else it would go to screen b so this is how you give a top tab navigation and bottom tab navigation so we are done with tab navigation so now we can uh, we can start with we can start with uh, the third type of navigation which is the drawer navigation so if you have any doubts you can ask and the drawer navigation is not that important because you uh, nowadays people don't use drawers so we will be covering it very soon so see two minutes <laughs> My screen very soft. See, I will be showing you what we have to install for the uh, drawer navigation, right? So, right, React Native. So, this is React Navigation only. So, React Drawer Navigation, right? See, and go to the official docs. So, you, are, you will be using the React Navigation drawer. So, you have to install this right so wait i will send you this install command so npm install or expo whatever you are using react navigation draw so install this and then we will be ready to go so i will show you how the drawer looks okay so we will see in the code right see let's see in the code so this is how you create a on drawer this everything similar in the stack navigation just you have to uh, change the name right so see the constant drawer is equal to constant create drawer navigator so we created the drawer navigator and instead of stack screen you have to just show the drawer screen drawer screen everything else is similar so screen a screen b everything else is given and these are some properties okay let's go, go, go through initial root name so initial root name means the for the screen you want to be displayed initially when the app is launched every time so this will be the initial uh, top screen so now drawer position left so if you need the drawer at the left you have to put left and if you need at right you can put it right so drawer type front also edge with the edge of the drawer you need you can increase it or decrease it. You have to, if you want to show, uh, hide the status bar, which is at the top, so you can uh, take it false. And now you can take the drawer style, so you can give the styling to your drawer. So now uh, for the screen options, if header shown. So in the last part, we did header show, shown is equal to false. So the top screens, were, the screen A and screen B were not displayed at the top. So swipe enable. So if you want to swipe it, in between so you can enable the swipe so these are the uh, two screens so let's see how this works let us relaunch the run npm run android i guess it launched and uh, the meaning of toggle is that so, uh, uh, up on drawer and be, uh, before drawer. So toggle is like if there's a toggle here, it will be resume. It will be resumed it in the initial state. So you can toggle between the screens. See the app will be launched here. I guess another there's an issue again. We will be launching it.
see the app is not at this time we have created two demo screens in and we have not given the function in the app.js itself see see this is the first screen this is the toggle drawer so this is the drawer navigation uh, and if you want to go to screen a you can go to screen a and you can go, see go back to screen b you can do everything every kind of navigation this is the toggle drawer so this is all about drawer navigation so i guess you have understood any and all the syntax is same as the stack navigation you have to just understand the concepts of it so this is how you give a tab navigation so there's another thing called na nested navigation so we will be uh, seeing it from the official docs itself nested navigation is like if you want a uh, if you want wait i will show you in react native if you want another a stack navigator and uh, another navigation in one navigation like if you have a screen in in that screen you have two bottom tabs so in the first bottom tab if you need three top tabs you have to give a nested navigation in the first bottom tab of your screen so the three top tabs would be in the first bottom tab of your screen so that is called uh, navigation uh, nested navigation see so each navigator these are the behavior behaviors of na nesting navigator you have to read this very this is very important and uh, each screen in the navigator has its own params so params is passing the value root dot params is passing the first value to second the mukesh sir told in the javascript lecture how to pass values using root dot params so this is how you pass the par passing parameters to root so this is how i will show you how to pass param so see this is the uh, hook you have created of root dot parents and now you have to give a root here because we are passing values and then you have to pass the uh, params in the next screen so this is how you pass the param so you have to take the params here and then send see if uh, the this this is item id is passed here and if you want to update the param you have to use navigation dot set param so whenever the params is passed and you want to um, update it you have to use this the initial params is the uh, first thing you want to see this will be passed initially and you, you can update it and if you want to create a, give a passing param through pre previous screen here we were giving it to the next screen if you want to give it to the previous screen this is how you give you have you can create a use effect so you have to just like use state there is a use effect and you can give a if else condition so this is how you give a uh, uh, and this is very advanced so this won't be covered in your basic so if you want have any doubts or interested you can google it and you can study about params this is not very useful so if you have any other doubts all the basics of react native are covered so uh, since we don't have time we will be starting with our app mukesh sir also will come from tomorrow so we will be covering i guess our context app or another another app in two lectures and it will be fun so if you have any doubts or uh, uh, we have 8 minutes right so let's see some of the uh, topics in the so if you have any doubts you have to always refer to the documentation right see the nesting navigators we did navigation life cycle you can study it here and if you troubleshooting and also if there's uh, any error you have to go here stack overflow i guess you know already you know would be knowing this so if there's any error you have to type the error on google then first site would be stackoverflow.com only then you have to go here and you have to search the error and the highest upload uh, uh, solution you have to refer that and then you have to there will be many errors when we, you would be creating react native so the errors will be displayed uh, would be displayed here itself if you have any errors here we, i don't have any errors there uh, yesterday you, i showed you red uh, it would be written in red so if there are errors you have to just copy paste the error and on google and then search on stack stack overflow and debug it so this is how you give errors so now if we have time we can uh, if we don't have time right so if you have any doubts we can cover it
cover them and if you want any doubts in the installation setup like you can start